Hi, Ann Z here. Well, I've come out to the courts on a sort of a cool evening. It's in the low 40s. I had to squeegee and wipe down a few of the court puddles, but no problem. I'm here to test out this new Franklin pickleballer machine. I thought I was going to have a power outlet, so I have a plug ready to go, but I can't find one here at the courts that I'm playing. So I have 4D batteries in my Franklin pickleballer, and I think that's going to be good enough. I also have my basket of balls, my paddle, and I'm ready to go. Okay, we need to load the machine up. So I'm gonna take my balls out of the basket. And one by one, put them down the little spiral way. I'm not gonna turn it on yet. It holds 15 pickleballs, indoor and outdoor sized. I have a mix of things here. Mostly I have some hybrids and some harder outdoor balls. Okay, we're gonna load it all the way up. And then I have my hopper ready to go when it's time to pick up the balls. Let's turn this thing on. The power button is right down here on the side. We'll give it a go. You can hear it humming. Right, let's see what happens. Never put your face directly in front of the opening where the balls are launched. That could be a serious injury. When you are finished, go over to the power button and turn it off. Again, you never want to put your face near the launcher. That could be very dangerous. All right, we're going to use the pickleball caddy to pick up the balls and try another round. Carrie has completed the pickup and is loading up the ball machine with another round of balls. Okay, now Carrie's joined us and she's gonna be hitting the balls while I set up the machine and see if I can get some different variety of shots. So I'm gonna turn on the power. And I think there's a high and low switch here. Let's see if I can get that. And that seems to be going a little faster. Let's see if I can get both high. Could be a little faster. That bothers me. <laughs> Carrie was doing some shadowing in between the eight to nine seconds, and that one caught her off guard. She's gonna do a shoot, two shot combo. First a low ball, and then come to the kitchen line. Practicing some footwork here. Okay, she's gonna go back again. Gives you plenty of time to get ready for the next shot. No more balls. The big red light at the very bottom, I know nothing's gonna launch at me anymore. We're all out. So I've loaded up 15 balls. Let's see if I can get to the other side of the net before the, <laughs> darn it, I didn't. This is the 15 ball challenge. I'm gonna beat that first ball over there.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was a backhand and I was ready. Forehand or backhand? I don't know where it's gonna go because I'm moving my body across the baseline, it's a forehand low. And I think that's it, because I see that red light. Boom, I hit that first forehand right there. Wow, that's quite a workout. So if I can use the time that the ball isn't being fed, and I can simply be moving, but on balance, I've gained cardio there, and I've also really quieted my body for the next shot. That's hard. So this machine is so lightweight that we can put it anywhere on the court. Right now, it's positioned on the same side of the net as I am. It's gonna shoot at me. I'm gonna make sure that I'm ready behind it, and I'm gonna go forward into the shot and find my next ready position at the net. Am I going to stand here? It's going to shoot at me. Let's see how it's, this is what you get to practice. We don't know. Whoa. Okay, this is good. I'm waiting for the serve to come at me. Forward, ready position, and I'm stopped. Here it comes. I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. So when the ball is coming at me kind of fast, I'm going to position myself a little bit more into the backhand at the net. My heart rate is up. I've practiced my return to serve over and over again. I'm not standing in line of the ball machine, that's for sure. So I practice my backhand returns nice and high, and I practice my forehand returns nice and high and deep. That's going to give me time to get settled at the no volley zone to find my balance. You can also load while the machine is on. Oh. I had to add a little bit of spin to that one. So after playing with this Franklin Pickleballer for the very first time, I'd give it a thumbs up. You can practice on your own. You can have a partner, more than one person, to give you extra time to run and pick up balls because it holds 15. It's lightweight. It's positionable anywhere on the court, on either side of the net. And it's really fun. It makes you feel like the balls are never ending. I was out here for less than 20 minutes and I'm sweating. My layers have come off. I got my heart rate up. And it's really important to play when your heart rate is elevated. What does that feel like? It felt like this tonight. Thumbs up for sure, Ian. Let us know in the comments if you've given this a try. I think you'll really like it. See you next time. That's fun, huh? So? Yeah. I and mean, that's what a ball machine should be. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. So I've loaded up 15 balls. Let's see if I can get to the side of the net before the foosh. <laughs> I've loaded up 15 balls. Let's see if I can get to the other side of the net. I didn't do it. <laughs>